An inferno can erupt in a matter of minutes, leaving behind little more than a burned out shell. That's where the experts come in. Investigators sift through the ashes to determine if a fire was an accident or a crime. Thanks to the latest forensic technologies, they can build a solid case from the rubble. When someone sets a fire intentionally, it's called arson, and it's often meant to destroy evidence of another crime. Fortunately for investigators, all is usually not lost. Traveling from the least burned areas to places where the fire was the most intense, investigators move backwards through the scene. They search for clues each step of the way. Some of the evidence tells them how hot the fire was. Other signs indicate the direction the flames traveled. Here, fire marshals see evidence of a liquid poured on the floor. Many flammable liquids leave a charred edge where the heat was especially intense. Using the forensic technique of gas chromatography, the marshals find out what the accelerant was. John DeHaan and William Kennard explain. Gasoline contains somewhere between 100 and 200 different components. We think of it as a single liquid, but it's a very complex mixture. Gas chromatography allows us to separate those all out, and in this case we're looking at molecules and sorting them out on, on the basis of their size. Almost invariably, uh, there is some of the accelerant left, possibly highly evaporated, but still enough for us to analyze. Uh, we can analyze anywhere from uh, one part to a hundred parts per million. Determining the cause of a fire is one thing, but finding enough evidence to catch a criminal suspect is another. Fortunately, experts can pull fingerprints from the soot and water. Most of us would guess that fingerprints don't survive a fire, but the fire's intensity actually makes prints stick to many surfaces. New light sources can highlight fingerprint residue against complex backgrounds. Pieces of glass can reveal if someone broke in before the fire or if the heat broke the glass. Under a microscope, the answer becomes clear. Curved lines around the edges mean the glass shattered on impact. Smooth edges mean a fire caused the break. So if you think an entire crime can go up in smoke, think again. With forensic techniques like these, investigators and scientists can tell how and where a fire started, and even who lit the match? <laughs>